Hey guys, my name is Krish Naik and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we have an amazing guest, uh, Saksham Chaudhary, and he is a cyber security expert. So we'll get to know many things about cyber security and probably how it is very much important in data science. And also in one of the video, I told you that, right, cyber security is an evergreen job profile. We'll get to know why. So welcome, Saksham, again. Thank you. And uh, today we'll try to give our audience as much as knowledge related to cyber security and how it can be very much useful in other applications. Right, right. So to start with uh, Saksham, please give your brief intro. Uh, so currently I'm working as a cyber security lead at iNeuron and I'm so happy that you gave me chance to come back into something that I've always loved because recently I was acting as a co-founder at LearnCode Online and then I always wanted to, you know, uh, teach people related to cybersecurity, which is what I was doing. I was giving trainings to a lot of government officials and I was exploring a lot of parts of cybersecurity related to system security exploits. And I've been researching on them from quite a long time to web security. And I have been hitting a lot of bug bounties in a free yeah. time right from the college time. <laughs> so that has helped me quite a lot. So how much money you have earned as a bug bounty uh, till now? Uh, good enough, good enough uh, to, you know, uh, live a good life, actually, because that's how I was living my life earlier on. So okay. that was a very comfortable zone, actually. Okay. Now, coming to the next question, probably this is very much important for the audience. Right. What is the importance of cybersecurity in any technology, let it be? Right. See, uh, I, I believe you must be having a lot of audience related to data science. So I believe there is no cybersecurity organization existing without any data science people. You know, there are two kind of people over there. One is the red team. Red team is the offensive one. And the second one is the blue team. So mm. blue team are you people only. Mm. You are analyzing about the data. You are analyzing the threats. You are analyzing how the operations are done. You are predefining their methods. So basically you are blocking the people like us <laughs> with the automation. So okay. that's the beauty of data science actually. Okay. Now, if I just talk about any specific thing like how cyber security will be really important in data science sector right so would you like to give any kind of examples with respect to that and probably we'll discuss about one of the use case in the upcoming sure, questions sure. see uh, we have been uh, witnessing a lot of big products like cloudflare even the antivirus on a very small scale uh, level what are these they are the trained models of machine learning right so they have a set of signatures of a lot of antiviruses and if you talk about the cloudflare and these kind of you know bulletproof security tools what they are doing they are analyzing the threats first of all they are analyzing the patterns of hackers like us and then they are stopping those patterns so big companies like sophos they are providing endpoint solutions uh, solar vents they all have the data science, uh, science engineers and they are making their products better see we can find the ways to hack but you can recognize us and you can make people secure for that we need a client right yes. we need a solution for that and you are doing that pretty well with the automation so we are not surviving without you <laughs> okay so in short uh, cyber security and data science are also bye bye we both uh, have valued something that is called as data so we uh, both have realized that data is gold and that's the time that we are coming in okay. after the data was actually uh, coming up into the market a lot of programming languages are coming up but before that the you know run of data is coming up so we are securing that and you are putting that in a very fruitful way so okay. which is why Excellent. we are bye bye you know data data leak <laughs> okay. perfect so uh, if i talk about uh, some of the roadmap like if if a fresher also wants to get into a cyber security right. so what do you think the roadmap he should follow mm -hmm. the learning process to mm -hmm. get into cyber security right. it, and if you probably get into cyber security irrespective to any technologies you'll be able to work anyhow. Right, right. So what should be that roadmap? You know, a lot of people must be doing this FAQ on YouTube as well, how to get started with the cybersecurity. And you must be getting a lot of explanations like uh, you must get started with Python, Linux. But all, what I really feel is that cybersecurity is not a set of uh, thing that you can learn. It is an art, right? Mm. In order to understand that art, you got to have to learn the basics of internet. First of all, you should have the love for technology and then you should have the fundamentals of technology. Technology. Hmm. For example, you should know what exactly the port is. Hmm. That has nothing to do with programming, but it will actually uh, eventually make sense to you when you will realize that what kind of ports are opened up, hmm. what services that are there. So that is related to networking again. So then you can go with the Linux fundamentals again. Then you gotta have to know about the protocols of the internet. So these are the father-like things of internet, or you can hmm. say the machines that you need to know. They are the raw fundamental. That will make sense to you. I think uh, we say HTTPS as 443 something 
some right. kind of port will always be available for that right 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 so we have the status request for that mm. we have five set of status codes for that starting from 1 to 5 that will make you analyze that uh, is it a 200 okay request mm. pa- what are packets actually these are the fundamentals you know in college we read that a set of packets makes the connection mm. but what is inside that packet you got to have to be curious enough mm. in order to learn this art actually mm. so that's what recently many hacks and all right it can be prevented because of this right right, right. if you probably have a good amount of knowledge right 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 okay, and if we talk about how to get started with the cyber security what i did i explored all of the domains i went into the 360 degree thing if you will explore everything then you will realize that which one is your forte mm. some people like it with a web bug bounty some mm. people like to uh, do research on exploits mm. so how will you realize that which one is right for you mm. you will if you will uh, explore them then only you will be able to realize that which one is your forte and like this is my thing i'm going to do this okay. so that's how you'll realize that amazing now let's talk see my audience is mostly into data science also right okay. right so i would like definitely want you to explain any kind of use case right where you have dealing with cyber security and data science all together right so if we talk about a use case of any cyber security infrastructure then i believe in 21st century it should be smart and you know that can be made smart with the help of data science so if we talk about it like first of all you got to have to uh, set up few layers for that so and as i told you you're going to be the players of the blue team so you come up when we are done with our job by exploiting and doing the red type of things so what you are going to do you're going to set up three layers where you're going to be collecting the data you're going to be sanitizing the data you're going to be analyzing the database the user applications mm. and the user activity mm. and then you're going to sanitize that data you're going to put that in a layer where we can actually see that what is the uh, what is the behavior of that uh, you know any database or user is and then you're going to analyze with your machine learning model that is that a malicious data mm. is that a malicious activity you are doing over there mm. after that you're going to set the infra for the policies which mm. are really important mm. because you know if the decision making is done right into mm. the machine learning as well mm. we are on a win win situation mm. so this is the basic infra that all the big companies like fireeye sophos are following actually mm. so that is mm. the thing that you can implement very easily in any software out there amazing so i hope many of you have got the use case what uh, uh, saksham is talking about but in short we definitely have to work together to so that the data privacy thing is always there and we are able to protect the data itself right, right, from right. the external threat okay now saksham this is interesting question see uh, when i finished my engineering mm-hmm. there were some of my friends who actually went to us and did their masters right. in right. cyber security mm-hmm. now those guys do not have a full time job first right. of all mm-hmm. but they are earning as a freelancer and they are earning mm-hmm. huge amount of money mm-hmm. still the same here oh, you are going to office 9 to 5 mm-hmm. we don't have we work in some days in a week and we mm-hmm. do our work within one or two days and we get a mm-hmm. huge amount of money and mm-hmm. rest of the day they are enjoying right. i see them in instagram and they're putting <laughs> a lot of posts right, right. so how do you think uh, you know people who is getting into cyber security mm-hmm. earn as a freelancer without any full time job see uh, even this is from my experience when i started hitting one of the bounty on facebook i got the 2700 dollars like four to five years back from now mm. so i'm pretty sure they must be full time big bounty hunters this is the one thing uh, on the platforms like hackerwan and bug crowd the minimum da- bounty that you score is for 300 dollars mm. which is good enough so mm. if you are uh, giving your 28 days in a month very dedicatedly and you are just finding five bugs mm. then you are making around 1500 to 2000 dollar mm. which is good enough to you know run your lifestyle on a very mm. uh, normal level you can say mm. and later on when you will have a collection of huge attacks like if you will learn more and more of attacks it's like a dictionary of attacks that you run on some website in order to find the bugs mm. then this score will be increasing mm. eventually when people will find the arbitrary attacks or it was a small password combination attack that was found on instagram recently and the chennai based guy got $30000 mm. so i believe uh, i believe he he can happily go on a vacation for like 3 to 4 months apart from that you have the programs coming up that are the private bug bounty programs like they are from the sinec red team so these ty- and types of things are coming up but somewhere we got to have to stay updated mm. why because people like you are stepping in mm. like i told you that you know people are using the more uh, machine learning trained models mm. but until and unless we believe in this theory that security is a myth mm. so we will keep on learning and you got to have to train your machine as well to keep that learning as well so that that is definitely we say that data right. is diverse so we right. should keep on 
training our model try to find out a way how mm-hmm. we can protect things mm-hmm. okay uh, so guys if you don't know saksham also has a youtube channel so i'll be putting his uh, channel link in the description of this particular video yeah. and i'll also be tagging him in the title itself so you can definitely follow him and subscribe mm-hmm. to him okay saksham one interesting thing i think yeah. uh, you're about to announce a course uh, yes, so yes, yes. would you like to tell our audience regarding the course itself right so we are launching a new cyber security masters course the beauty of uh, this course is that this has iso 27001 okay. and this iso 27001 was recently launched this also has a 360 degree approach like i mentioned you hmm. so that people can take part in it we hmm. have the series coming up for the whole uh, ethical hacking series and the cyber security series but in this course we are giving a 360 degree approach so that hmm. you can explore from system security to web security to the all the vapt standards that are running on to the corporate standards right now we are also exploring the wifi penetration testing android penetration testing so all the technologies that you can imagine we are exploiting that and on top of that we are starting from the fundamentals that people actually need to know hmm. about the packets and these kind of things so that anybody can start their career with cyber security also like i told you that data science people have a very golden chance to start to get started with this thing because you know uh, there is a scarcity of people and like cynic and you know in some solar winds like of companies because we know how to you know exploit things and most of the people today are taking part in exploiting things they are actually not understanding that in order to go with some machine learning models we can mm. stop them for a lifetime mm. so which is why we can exploit and we can tell them what is there into the cyber security so let's try to find out the loopholes in short exactly exactly mm. so i think this is a good opportunity for the people who are looking to do a transition they are going to stay into the data science as well and still they are going to go into some big cyber security companies and one amazing thing guys and now we are also forming a cyber uh, complete cyber security team over here because right. we really need to do a lot of things like pen testing and exactly. all right now we are giving our work to some vendors but now all those work will be in iron on itself so that we'll be able to explore everything on right? it to be as yes, perfect now uh, one thing uh, uh, if i talk about uh, pen testing and all right this kind of job profiles also people get uh, in right. different different companies yes. what is the average package do you think a cyber security engineer gets i think one can easily get a package of 12 lakhs per year as a fresher is, as a fresher okay. as a fresher because uh, this is highly in demand in india hmm. see uh, now the new laws are coming up from rbi like if you have a certain amount of uh, transaction going on on with your like uh, websites or somewhat like that or if you are going up with some fintech apps then you would have to do the security audits that's a compulsory part otherwise the banks will not give you apis hmm. so hmm. which is why there is a huge demand coming up for the testing hmm. and we don't have much candidates over there here in india hmm. and we have the big companies like big four in india they are doing the crowdsourcing and still we have a lot of demand over there because okay. there are a lot of indian products as well okay. so for that people are giving a lot of money even to the freshers in order to you know hire people for cyber security okay amazing so i guess uh, you know this was really really insightful uh, your the information that you are really providing to the audience and i guess i uh, i've made many videos regarding cyber security but yes the real person who's been working for so many years in this industry was able to provide you a lot of information so before we end saksham any motivation things you really want to tell the audience about you know so see i'll 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 tell you one very simple fact that there are two kind of people who realize that cyber security incident is existing or not you know even you must be thinking that hey cyber security i've been reading about it quite a lot but is it happening with me or not so there are two people who get to know about it whether it is happening with them or not or the second ones are the one who doesn't get to know about it because it happened with them but they never got to know about it so we are those witty kind of people <laughs> amazing amazing so guys uh, this was it from our side yes saksham batch is getting launched in june 18th i guess on ni- on 19th of june. june right and yes uh, the course price is just 4000 including gst right. where he will be making your job ready with cyber security and soon we are also going to form a team in uh, ineuron itself right now right. we have 3 to 4 people but i really want to make this team a bigger in ineuron also right. so yes uh, guys this was it saksham thank you for providing such infi- insightful knowledge to the entire audience and please make sure that you subscribe saksham channel the link will be given in the description regarding all the course information again in the description you'll find out everything so this was it from our side thank you one doll have a great day i'll see you all in the next video thank you saksham thank you sir bye bye guys